So you want to put your application settings into a configuration file and only use Python core libraries to read them back up. No problem. Use Python's built-in config parser. Let me show you how. Start with your import statement, create your config parser, read your file, and get your properties. Run and done. Now for a relatively simple program, this may be all you need. But what else can config parser do for you? Let's find out. And as always, everything covered here is in the Python speed sheet. On with the code. Start with a sample config file, a simple text file divided into sections. Ours contains two. Those are the things defined with the square brackets. Each of ours has two properties. They're defined with a name, an equal sign, and a value. You can use a colon instead of the equal sign, but we're going to stick with equals for this. Import config parser. Create an instance of config parser itself. You will always need to start with this. Read the config file using the read method. And now config1 contains the entire contents of our configuration file. Great. How do we get a property value? Starting with calling config1 directly, you have two choices. You can use the dictionary style with the section name as the first key and the property name as the second. This maps to section1 and property1 in our configuration file. Or you can use the get method with the section and property names as the method parameters. What if your property doesn't exist? The dictionary approach will raise a name error, but the get method will raise no section error if the section is missing and no option error if the property is missing. So much for consistency. To avoid this, we can use the has option method to check if the property actually exists. Again, passing in the section and property names as parameters, and this will return true or false. What if I just want to assign a default value instead? Sure, you will use the get method for this one, set the fallback parameter like I do here, and there you go. What if you need something other than a string? No problem. A quick update to our config file. Need an integer? Use get int. Need a float? Use get float. What about booleans? Well, we'll use the getBoolean method, but what value should we use in our config file? While we're here, let's take a moment to see what we get if we try to read an invalid value. Config parser raises value error, as you can see. OK, back to our Boolean value. Let's look this up quickly on the Python speed sheet. As you can see, for true, we'll need true, yes, on, or one. For false, we'll need false, no, off, or zero. We'll use yes. Brilliant. Another way we can work with our properties is using sections. In this case, we must use the dictionary method. Let's start with getting section 2. And now section 2 has all section 2 properties. To read the property values, we again have two approaches, the dictionary method and the get method. A quick comment about sections. Under the hood, config parser implements sections using mutable map which is very similar to a dictionary in most ways, so most common dictionary methods will work fine here. Check if a section has a property. We can't use has option on a section. We're going to have to use the in operator instead. Need to get ints, floats, or booleans? Yes, they're all here too. At this point, let's see how we can iterate over config parser's values. We start by calling the sections method, which will give us the section names. Put that in a loop, get the current section like we did above. Finally, loop through the list of property names and values with the items method. And there you go. This is everything you need to know and probably way more on how to read a configuration file. Does config parser support writing configuration files too? Yes, it does. Let's take a look at that now. Again, start with our import statement and instantiating our config parser. Now our new config object is currently empty. Let's start adding a few things to it. Start by adding a section with the add section method. Add a property, use set. Here we need the section name, property name, and property value. A quick note, you must add the section first before you start adding any properties. Take a look at what we've got. Everything looks great. We can add to the section itself. Get the section we just added. Now to add a new property, we'll treat this like a dictionary. Because again, section is implemented using a mutable map under the hood. This may be useful if you are updating a section after previously reading in a configuration file. 
I have one more approach to adding sections and properties that I'd like to show you. Here we'll add a dictionary of all of our properties to a new non-existent section all in one shot. Start by referencing the new section we want to create and add our dictionary of properties. Great, everything is here. The last step is to write out our new config file. You will need to use the open statement to create this. Pass the file handle to config parsers write method. Let's run this. And finally double check of our file. Excellent, all done. So we've just seen how you can create, read and write your own config file using config parser. I'm a big fan of getting your settings out of your application and config parser is a great way for quickly implementing that inside your code. So I want to leave you with more than just a code walkthrough. I want to give you the tools that will allow you to quickly add this inside your own applications. So for that, I put all of these commands into the Python speed sheet. Just type config parser in the search box and you'll find everything that I've covered here. Need to narrow it down a bit more? Add whatever terms you need. Links to the Python speed sheet and the source code to this tutorial are all available in the doobly-doo below. I hope you found this video useful and informative. Please let me know what your thoughts are in the comments, including your thoughts on the Python speed sheet. Let me know how useful you found that. I'm Tim O. Thanks for watching.